Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Passive Enlightenment Tarot. For those of you returning to the channel, welcome back. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I am Nicole. Uh, guys, this is going to be your daily collective for December 14th. It is Thursday. Um, so we're going to jump right into the messages. And speaking of messages coming through <laughs> this morning, hope you guys are doing well and fantastic. Uh, we're going to start this off with the Sacred Geometry deck and just kind of roll. I don't know what I, what cards I feel inclined to use this morning, but we're going to go with it. Um, a lot of blue. I'm catching, but my shirt's blue. It just kind of dawned on me. I don't know if it's some throat chakra energy. It's Mercury in retrograde as of yesterday, so hopefully you guys are faring, <coughs> faring okay with that right now. Um, card that come out was authority, number 10, endings, beginnings, as always. Um, but Spirit is also bringing that zero into a, a highlight for me as I'm talking. Um, the Fool's Journey. This is a new journey. This is a new chapter for a lot of you right now. Um, authority is taking that possession and control of your own life. That authority is, you know, making decisions and, and stepping into uh, what it is that you can control, what it is that you need to let go of as well. Um, being the author, they're also bringing, you know, words out of this particular word authority into to me, authoring your own life. You could be writing something right now. You could be journaling. You could be working on some kind of papers. Um, trying to get things done, creating uh, new visions for yourself as well. When you become the author of something like you sign, they're, they're bringing the fact that you're you're signing your signature to something. You're putting your stamp of approval on whatever this is, and it's like I'm hearing because I said so. <laughs> so for some of you, right, it's like because I said so. I don't have to give you an explanation. Here, it, here it is in black and white. Here it is in blue and white, you know, whatever, however you're writing. Here, here it is. Here's what it is that I'm, I'm stating. This is what I'm saying to you. And um, as I said, you know, the communication aspect being the blues, I was shuffling. And then, you know, to say what it is that you mean, to, to, to feel what it is that you mean by speaking it into existence. Um, but it's kind of like an explanation point. So for some of you, this is not just about um, power control. You know, this is about saying here's the final statement to something here is the way this is going to be um I, spirit boy they're coming in hot and heavy this morning your position of authority means nothing to me so it's like you could be really it, it's like this feeling of maybe you're dealing with some conflict from outside sources you could be dealing with internal conflict too and this is you know it's a bit of a stubborn kind of energy that comes in as to this is just the way that it's going to be as we move forward. This is my, my declaration of myself. This is a declaration on whatever the situation is for you. Um, but it is, it's almost like, I, I don't wanna really say forcing an ending, but it is like, you know, you ever send a text message and you have like 15 exclamation points at the end of that sentence, it's like, there it is. You know, it, it, it's just, you're not going to deal with whatever the situation is that surrounds you. Uh, spirit is bringing up like a trifecta kind of energy that it's like things are happening in sequence to maybe one person or something that has come in and done something. So then it involves another person somehow or another situation. And then it's like it finally gets, makes its way to you somehow. And it's just like, oh no. You know, maybe I didn't start it, but I'm going to end it. That kind of energy is what comes in. And it's a very, it's a very powerful energy, but it's also not, you think about like power and control. And I've seen that emperor pop up quite a bit here the last couple of weeks. It's, he's not doing it in a condescending kind of manner. He's not doing it in a, you know, a malicious or manipulating kind of manner. It is just I'm done dealing with whatever this is. I'm not going to continue to play these games or step into this situation or deal with these outside sources anymore. I'm stepping into my own power and my own right, my own birthright to just say no. So this could also have to deal with your boundaries as well. But I think through this collectively, you guys, um, this zero that they're pointing out to me so heavily is the fact that this is a new beginning. Like it's kind of like getting off of the, the rat wheel and going, no, you all want to spin and sit and spin and, you know, all that kind of good stuff. 
go ahead, but I'm, I'm not taking part in whatever this is. And, um, you know, it's like through that, the joys of life are going to start coming in and flowing in for you because you're just not willing to invest and engage in situations that seem to create some kind of chaos. So again, taking power and control back of your, your own world here. <clears throat> Synergy and magic. Um, it's like a, a reality that may be, may be in a space of being sparked right now for you that whatever this is, this, this energy of this authority feels very heavy to me though. It's like, um, it's just been very overpowering, very overwhelming maybe in some ways. But this magic and this synergy is like, I, you know, you get to decide if you get off that rat wheel, right? And then you can create your own wheel and your own way of being. And it's kind of like there's the reality of how this is working and how you get out of certain things um, that just don't, they don't work right. I don't even know, I'm going to say two spirits are addressing, they don't even know that it never worked right at all. Like it never worked to begin with. It, it was... Um, mixed up emotions and energy in general. For some of you, Spirit's pointing out, this could be in regards to um, love, family, work, um, situationships as we call them these days. Um, but when I say situationships, I simply mean like, <clears throat> you know, being that third energy to a particular situation or something that it kind of came in um, after a fact where you kind of got pulled into something that you really didn't want to be a part of to begin with. So, um, it's that kind of feel. All right. What else, Spirit? What else does the collective need to know today? Crown chakra. Uh, some of you could have just prayed about this. Some of you could have just said, you know, like I'm giving this to a higher power. Um, I, you could have, I, I don't feel like there was ever really a point that you didn't know what to necessarily do. Maybe knowing what you needed to do, but not, not knowing how to get through it or how to, to work through it or how to do it. You know, like I know what I need to do, but where do I start? This crown chakra energy is giving that to the divine. It is our higher spiritual purpose. It is following our intuition. It is trusting in God, source, the divine, whatever you put your faith into, um, and releasing that. You know, purple too, I, I, I've always seen purple as a, as a color of loyalty, whether that is to oneself or to, you, you know, your higher power, your grace, your faith, your belief system as well. Cosmic flower. Um, <laughs> activates our remembrance of the place we call home, the core from which we pour our, ma our magnificent out into the world. Um, and it's like maybe this, this energy of this authority was taking up space for you, taking up um, where you could truly be investing your energy into the magnificent parts of life. And that's kind of how this feels again with me is, is like it, it's, it's to transmute the negative energies. It's to go, you know what, like you, you let go of control you let go of that, that power and control, you like you take it back and you, you reclaim your power, but in the same breath, it's like, okay, now where do I go? Now what do I do? Like I need the answer so I know where it is that I'm heading and where I'm going and you're giving that to the, to the divine to transmute the negative forces that you've dealt with. So, you know, again, it, it, it's like, you can call it a state of surrender, right? All right, what else for the, um, the sacral chakra comes out sideways. The orange flower of life supports our ability to flow with our desire and stimulates our creative power to manifest success and abundance in our lives. And as I just kind of said, like, it could have felt like it was kind of holding you up. Like, you couldn't invest. <laughs> Look at this. The bottom. I was going to go with three cards here. And um, the bottom card, communication. Set it from the start. Throat chakra energy right there it is. Um, again, as I was saying, though, it could have felt like you know, these, this trifecta kind of energy, this triangulation, however you try, whatever you want to do with it, um, could have been holding you up from those outside, those desires. You know, you could have stopped you from having the time, energy, the resources to invest into something else. And now it's like, you know, no, I'm reclaiming, I'm reclaiming me, I'm reclaiming my power. Uh, and it may require you to write text, email, communicate this information somehow and be very, it, again, it's very subtle, um, very poised, very graceful, but very to the point. You know, it's like you don't have to go F you to, to get the point across. It's this is the way that it is, and this is the way it's going to be, and now we are done here so we can move on. 
or if you don't want to move on, that's cool, but I am. So, you know, it's, it's, you're communicating clearly and abruptly. It's very King of Swords kind of energy. Um, <clears throat> but it's interesting to me because it's like, <clears throat> I can feel a link between the, the crown, the throat, you know, the root card didn't come out, but I can feel it connected to the root, but it's kind of like the things in between from the heart to that sacral is kind of off. Like it's missing somehow. So, you know, those particular chakras, the uh, sacral, the solar plexus, the heart could really need some workings. And I do feel like with this purple here as well, though, you are incorporating that third eye energy with this. Um, but it's, it's, it's almost like, what do I want to call it? This is interesting. Um, what, there was a movie me and my movies, like, and I don't even watch TV, I don't watch movies, I don't watch any of it, but it's been coming up lately, um, there was, like, a golden bug or something, like, it looked like a, um, not a roach, ew, um, and then the ants the other day, right, like, was it yesterday? I don't know what the hell's going on. Insects could be a thing for you, who knows, um, but it was, like, a golden, like, be beetle, that's the word I'm looking for, a golden beetle, <coughs> And it was probably a Disney movie because I'm a mom. That's what I watch when I do watch TV. Um, but it's kind of like that. It's like a key piece. I think there was like a beetle in, in some movie or something where it had to sit just so on like the hieroglyphics of a, of a temple or a tomb or something like that. Um, but it had to fit just right. And that's kind of what I'm seeing with this communication card is it, it needs to be golden. It needs to be glistened. It needs to be perfect. Um, but I think that without a whole lot of thought, you're just doing it and it's coming out perfectly. The communication, the way you're handling whatever this is, is like, um, it couldn't, Spirit said it couldn't have been better said. That may catch somebody else by surprise. They weren't anticipating or expecting a movement for you to make 12, 12 on the clock a second ago. They weren't anticipating you to make this kind of move. Spirit is also saying, you are back, you are powerful, you are being gifted the gift of foresight, but it's funny because the foresight in this is not like you can see months down the line what's going to happen. You may have a, a higher knowing of the way things are going to play out, but at the same time, like, you're remaining. And the other thing that I heard before I turned the video or the camera on was here and now, and I said that to one of the signs, I think, the other day. Um, I was talking about a song, but the here and now that they're giving me is that present awareness. It is, it is the here and now. Like you know exactly what is going on in this very moment, and you're knowing how to move through that um, without having to really overanalyze something. It's just coming out, and the way that it's coming out, even with Mercury and retrograde, is just coming out correctly, which is interesting that we would have that at this specific time. So for some of you, you could. For me, Mercury in retrograde, it can jack some stuff up. But Mars, if Mars goes into retrograde, that's when my shit gets wonky and sideways. So Mercury in retrograde may not be affecting some of you uh, as intensely as others. And whatever you're dealing with, their side, Spirit's drawing this to my attention, could be more affected by this than you are. And it's actually propelling you forward. It's helping you to move forward. Um, because you're able to voice um, what it is without the emotions. You're not allowing your emotions to take take hold of the situation. Uh, but at the same time, like, I, I'm, I'm actually very surprised just how it's coming out. Like, it's not so convoluted as we would expect right now. So, interesting energies that are coming through, guys. Very interesting energies. All right, let's see what else comes up for you all. I'm going to keep this under 14, 14 on the clock keep this under and then 14 here communication also which breaks down to a five justice that is that 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 balance that authoritative figure right that we talked about the authority wish fulfillment healing there's healing happening around a particular situation I was going to say legal matters earlier um so maybe for some of you this is legal this could be um you know mortgage house related anything that you're signing contracts on as well um you know and again now is a time too to re re Blah, 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 blah. My my thoughts and spirit come in faster than my mouth can move sometimes. Um, to reread, review, reorganize, you know, all of those things, you know, 
really looking at the fine print and there could just be something that's catching your attention right off the bat that says, oh no, 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 no. Here's how we're going to do this because I don't want to deal with the long-term effects around something. Uh, if we're going to get to what feels right and what feels good, what I've been working towards, um, this is the way we're going to have to make these moves. So it's like, and I'm, I'm going to say to you, for some of you, whatever's on the other side of this or whoever's on the other side of this, um, for some of you, they're not malicious. It's almost like they don't give it a whole lot of thought either. And that could be part of this retrograde energy for them. For others of it, for others of you, these are just people that are shitty and shady. It's like trying to pull a fast one. It's like, ooh, let's jumble up how all this sounds and then we're gonna, you know, get you to bite into it some way. But I think you're seeing right through this right now, even again with Mercury and retrograde. So all right, let's see. What else does the collective need to know today, Spirit? Page of Pentacles. Funny. I did a reading this morning and that came out. Um the strength card. It's mean you're standing firm. You're standing that strength card to me is like standing firm and you're not doing it. Like I said earlier, you're not you're doing it gracefully. You're doing it with poise. Um you, you don't have to force whatever this is. It's just naturally happening to your highest benefit. Someone comes in here with some kind of you know tangible offer in regards, and I, I can't help but go contracts of some sort you know, writing, reviewing, that kind of thing. And then the strength card comes out and it's handling it with massive grace. You know, she's not forcing that line to open his mouth. She's coaxing him. She's like, come on, I'll be nice to you. I'll help you. Let me help you. Right. And, and it's like, but I feel like this, um, with this guys, this is you helping yourself. This isn't about anybody else. This is about you helping yourself, which is very beautiful energy to be in. Um, because I don't feel like it's self-centered. It's not egotistical. It's just taming your own inner beast, maybe. Right? Taming the things in your life that have seemed to be out of control for some time. And not carrying that shit into 2024, 17, 17 on the clock reiterating numbers here every time I look up. All right, one more card spirit for the collective of what they need to know today. The nine of wands, yeah. You know, not carrying five of cups in reverse and the ace of wands. Extra confirmation of everything I just said. It's like you're not going to take this as I just happened to lay the deck down and I dropped it. Ha ha ha! Ha! I love it. I said king of swords kind of energy. We'll take this though. I dropped the deck, got split. Queen of Swords, the Fool, which I talked about in the very beginning, Fool energy, and that Six of Wands. Like, you are riding off into the sunset of victory and success. And it's like, they can, whatever this offer is, like, boy, they're, I'm going to tell you for a lot of you, somebody could see you in, in this potential. And for some of you, this is going to be love. Some of this will be money. This will be your work. This will be your kids. This will be, you know, your neighbors lending you a hand to move a couch. Like, it could be absolutely freaking anything, right? <clears throat> get the Empress here. You've got the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles. But then you've got the Queen of Swords, the Fool, and the Six of Wands. Um, you are, one, you're discerning every single part of whatever is going on in your world, right? Taking that authoritative control. Talk about contracts or whatever you're getting involved in. Some of you could have three separate offers. People are seeing you as abundant. People are seeing you as wise. People are seeing you as potentially worth the investment. But the question for you is going to be, are they worth the investment? Are they worth putting this energy and effort into? Because this Nine of Wands screams, fucking worn out. I'm tired. I'm done being beat over the head with stuff. I'm tired of carrying the burden. I'm tired of fighting the good fight. Like, just let me be. And so I do feel like, you know, part of the, these wounds that have been sustained over the, the time for this Nine of Wands that he's dealt with from, from the Ace to where he is, is going, I have learned lessons. I know what to hold on to and what to let go of and what just like to leave it to sit. You know, so I, I do feel like there's a lot of energy around you discerning through the lessons you've learned. And they may not be massive lessons, but it's enough to make you stop and pause and go, is this really what I want to do? Does this really make sense for me? Because if it doesn't, I'm not going to, you know, everything could have a potential opportunity, but which one is going to flourish? And that's the one I'm going to take and roll with. 
So, you know, and you are making smart decisions. That Queen of Swords, you know, again, taking out that emotion. And, you know, talk about that Queen of Swords too, like in the Light Seers deck, which I use quite a bit. That cup is kind of like put the bottom of her pillow or whatever she's sitting on, and it's got bars around it, right? So it's like, it's locked up. I think, you know, you got to get into your emotions too. But it's also, you know, you have to make smart decisions. And I do feel like with this Ace of Wands sitting here um, and the King of Wands with the Nine of Cups, I mean, it's really beautiful energy as you move through whatever challenges you have faced in the past. Um, but, you know, that Nine of Wands with that, with that Ace says, this is it. These are the burdens and I'm done bearing the burden or bearing, bearing the burden for everybody else so you know this is taking taking control of the self and starting on a new journey you, you know and but this time even though you're starting the fool's journey over again there's going to be new lessons that you don't have experience of yet but there's a lot of wisdom there's a lot of clarity surrounding certain things there's a lot of ahas that you have had over time that's leading you into success and you know people will and i said this the other day i forget what sign it was people will be bitter that you're leaving them behind people will be bitter that you're not choosing to partake in something with them that's not on you you're, you're following your gut your guidance that crown chakra what it is that you've asked and prayed for you're learning to pause and be present in the moment to pay attention to how people are coming in you know what is what is the reason you know and I'm, you know and here i am right let's let's make a joke here scorpio i'm trusting scorpio as i am like arm's distance folks but in the same space like you want to be careful that that's not where you're operating from right you want to be careful that you know you're you're keeping these offers at bay because they're truly not good for the long term so just be discerning of that grounding energy you know and yeah ground yourself this page of pentacles grounding yourself into one to i am a don't back yourself into a corner where you have no other options like throwing all your eggs in one basket. But I think you're going to know there's there's certain, like the way I'm seeing this is we've got the knight, the page, and then the, the ace of pentacles. Some of these things are coming in being treated as the opportunity of a lifetime. You know whether that's the case or not but you know which one is more mature you know which one is more sincere you know which one is going to really you can double down on whatever this is and make the right moves and taking that power and control back in your own world um, you know if someone's trying to pull the bullshit over over on you because you've got that foresight you've got that clarity you've got that wisdom you've got divine powers you know standing behind you and supporting you so it's like to ground your energy it's like to put your feet down and feel centered like you're going to know what comes in for you that makes you feel centered and, and know if it's really worth your time and efforts all right let's see what is it? advice on the strength card please spirit now i never mean for these readings to go this long when they always do so there's a reason that or i just talk a lot which is what i'm supposed to be doing right all right um I'm going to take these on the strength card give right she's giving this this line a hand be open and receptive guys plain and simple changing you're you're changing you're you're learning where to give so we have to give change and release you're learning where to give and I'm going to say spirit just keeps reiterating it's okay if you change your mind so maybe like a couple of weeks ago you thought something was meant for you or something was really going to be good for you and then you've watched something play out since then and it's like yeah maybe it's not so great for me or maybe even something from 20 years ago you thought would be great for you and somehow it comes back up and you're like no no i've learned something about this situation and no this this doesn't work anymore and that's okay so you know don't um don't be afraid to change your mind if you need to. And don't feel guilty. Like, you know, emotional intelligence here. You do what you have to do of what is going to work out for the best uh, out possible outcome. 
without having guilt because it disappoints someone else's feelings. We're not here to emotionally pacify other people. We're here to emotionally take care of ourselves. So just be be aware of that as well. Nine of Wands. What is this energy mean? Based on the Nine of Wands, please, Spirit. Advice on the Nine of Wands. Connect. And friend. Point, like I said earlier, right? Six of Wands, victory, success. I talked about that full card. It's a new beginning right from the start. I talked about that zero. Last bit of advice Spirit gives you is the fresh start. Connect to that fresh start. Start to connect with the things that are going to bring in this happiness and this abundance, this like, these, these beautiful things. And I'm going to say for some of you, if you've had some trouble around such, certain situations, Spirit keeps going, give it seven to 10 days. I know we're gonna be in retrograde still. Give it, I think, I think there's a pause or something. Give it seven to 10 days. You're gonna start to see things starting to really shift and you're gonna start making these new connections. Um, you also though are aware of how it is that you've connected with others in the past that have led to this nine of wands. This just, like I'm done. I've rolled my sleeves up, I've done the dirty work, I've, you know, sat with the homeless, I've, you know, cheered, you know, had, you know, cheers, drinks with, you know, diplomats, whatever, you know, whatever this is. It's like, I've, I've been at the bottom and I've been at the top and now I'm tired. <laughs> like I've sat with everybody of all kinds of backgrounds. Now what about me? And um, so you've learned through these connections. So you get to take all of that experience and all of these various situations you know, maybe you were working at a company and you started at the bottom. Now you're at the top of the, you know, the, the totem pole there. And you're like, I've done all of this and this, this, now I'm going to take, I'm going to use that, that vacation time that I haven't used in six years and just sit on my ass because I'm tired. I fought the good fight. My, my, my work contract says I'm entitled to use this time, right? Talking about those contracts, you know, this is what I'm doing. I'm taking this time off for me. And not feeling bad about that and being very affirmative in what it is that you need to do. And you're taking action towards that. So, you know, whatever this is for you guys today, like embrace this fresh new beginning. Embrace this start. Embrace your authoritarian position in your own world to be, you know, your own emperor for you. Right? Taming you know, maybe you worked all the time and you're like, I need a break. Like it's taming that inner beast that goes, it's okay. As they say, doing nothing is doing something, right? It's, it's that kind of energy. All right, guys, I'm leaving it here. I hope you found this uh, message from spirit to be helpful. Personal reads are open and available. That information can be found in the description box below as well as the about section of the page. I hope you have a fantastic day and uh, I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.